Mm, damn, Q. Maybe you did that. What up, what up, what up, what up, man? You already know what it is. BBW, that's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Got my man Angry Principal in the building. What's up? Got my man Bo holding it down. I say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. All right, so look, we back in the building this time. We, uh, you know, I feel like we're going to go to Scotland this time. Shit, though. We're going to go to some Scotch whiskey. Now, we haven't had Scotch on the show in uh, shit quite some time. So now we're about to check out this Glen Fittage. Uh, 14 year though. All right, so I've had Glen Fittage before. I don't think we did it on the show, but I did have it. I've never had the 14 year. And uh, what we're gonna do right here is uh, what Angry Principal calls a bottle kill. There's a lot of fucking alcohol in there though, so we we gonna try to get through this. But uh, you got any story behind the uh, behind the Glen Fittage? So basically, it's a 14 year old Scotch. Uh, the reason I picked it up is because I'm not a Scotch drinker at okay. all. So the only reason I picked it up is because it was aged in bourbon barrels, mm-hmm. and gotcha. I wanted to have some scotch at the house okay. just in case people scotch drinkers came by. Gotcha. So that's the reason I picked it up. So last weekend, one of my buddies came in from out of town. Mm-hmm. We had a good time, and the bottle got kind of low. So I said it's time to kill this one. So <laughs> yeah, gotcha. I wanted to bring it by, and so that everybody could see whether or not we could, we could do a review on it. Gotcha. And also do our first ever bottle kill on on. on on here, I don't know if we're gonna be able to kill it. Right, because I I, I, but, I took a sneak uh, peek in there. There's a lot of alcohol. Uh, yeah, there. But at some point, by the end of the night, it will be yeah, dead. It yeah. will be a dead bottle. So I just wanted to bring that through for that. By the end of the night, by the night, it'll be dead. Maybe yeah. not this episode, but by the end of this episode, <laughs> right? All right, so I'm gonna let you go ahead and pop that open now. Obviously, right. this is open already, so and I know the is, cork won't be as. as and I, I kept the actual box that it came in mm-hmm. only because it's like a nice. And it is. Right, else right. comes in yeah. boxes like that for sure. Spending some real money now. So when I bought it, it was fifty five. Fifty five. Okay. But the price on it currently is seventy. Oh, it went up. It went up. Oh, so uh, I okay. just saw it the other day and it up the appraisal. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if we're gonna get a cork. This like right, it's just hella open. Boss with a cork. Bro, decent, still that decent. was wet. That was better than the yeah, Scotch. Right. I mean, it's a real cork. That's a real. It's a real cork. You can tell. So. Did y'all really? I mean, obviously you do, Angry Principal, but do you fuck with Scotch at all? Um, I've had a couple, but like mm-hmm. not to the degree where I can really have a a real, you know, a I real you. answer to that. I got you. Now I I've had I've had Glenn Fittis before, and I've had Cuddy Sark. I don't know if that even counts, <laughs> but I've had that. Uh, and then crowd. we had the uh, what was we were just talking about? Oh, so we had a couple, my nigga. We had uh, Buchanan's, which was Buchanan's. Yeah. Cause we did those two together. Buchanan's and then we did or the one, uh, the Balvenie though, that was in the uh, the sherry cast. Yes. Now that actually yeah. that was Scotch. Yeah. That shit was good. Okay. That shit was good. Yeah. It was. It was. But that was that. that it wasn't a single malt though. Okay. Yeah, it, it was. It was a. Uh, um. What's what's the term? Why can I remember? Um, it, it, it was a mix. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Blend. 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 Yes. Blend. 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 Well, I don't know why I can't think of it. It's like, right. a mix? No, right. well, that's not right. Yeah, blend it. Yes, thank you, Anchor Principal. So this is a single malt, 14 year, 86 proof, uh, and uh, aged in bourbon barrels. There okay. we go. Good legs on it. Kind of, kind of oily. It definitely smelled good. That's oh, I'm good. sorry. It it was aged in American new oak. So those are new oak barrels that okay. they aged them in, mm-hmm. which is different because I thought it was just maybe a, a used barrel. Mm-hmm. But no, it's a new it's barrel. It's got its own barrel. Yeah, so okay. It, it it has a different, definite different taste profile. Hmm. That's fucking solid. You like that? Shit, That's huh? solid right there, bro. Mm. Let's see. So, I don't know what I smell. I smell like. I'm like trying a, to get. Uh, Cotton candy, cotton candy. That is solid. It's something. It's so it's I get like a, sweetness. Yeah, you get like I get like a little. Uh, it's almost like a. I don't know if this helps because I'm you know, but but I, I fuck with I fuck with plums. I eat plums. I like a lot of plums and shit. But I get like a plum. I can see that. I, I can see that. Yeah, pause, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> but. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. All I can see. I knew what's coming. Was Will Ferrell. 
doing his, his thing <laughs> about the plums. <laughs> God damn it. I'm sorry, uh, man. That's no. one of the best kids I've seen. I didn't even want to say I was, so. I was thinking about it as I was saying it. I was like, See, oh, it's shit. definitely a fruit. And, and the yeah. plum I hadn't thought about. Yeah, it definitely is I a kind plum. Of fuck with, but, like, the thing I like about scotch, man, like, it gives you that hug, like, right away, you know? Shit. <laughs> yeah. Right off rip. You get a little pininess to it, you know what I mean? Pine. It's definitely stronger than the 86. It uh, is, yeah. It, it could. This could be easily at least 92. 90, it could 92. be. Yeah, yeah. This is good. Yep. I mean, and, and see, I'm not really a Scotch fan, but like, this mm-hmm. is. I like. I this. am not a Scotch fan at all. I like. But this. you don't get that that uh, taste right, yeah, on right. this one, right? Uh, that I would have expected from another another Scotch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It so is, I'm enjoying this one. My favorite Scotch, though. though, I would probably say Oban. Oban. Uh, I had a 14 year old. I had an 18 year old Oban, and mm-hmm. like they, they were solid. You know, I fuck with Scotch, so like, mm-hmm. yeah, they, they, this is solid. It is piney. Okay, you know, what fruit am I tasting though? Probably plums, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good old nice little round plump plump plump. <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> I fucking hate it here. <laughs> but it's definitely and, and when I say the, the pine, the pine like it's it's funny because like in, in my in my old childhood home, there's a uh, plenty of pine trees. In the backyard, and, and I can it feel like pine needles is everywhere right now. Like that's the pine that I'm mm-hmm. smelling. Um, I think that I smell the fruit, and initially there's some fruit, but mm-hmm. then the the pine and like the char overtakes it on the back end. But it's good though. I and, and I ain't gonna lie. I, going in, I kind of thought I wasn't gonna like it. It's it's actually decent. I yeah, right. The char does hit at the end. Char, yeah, yeah, the char hit at the end. It's like a yeah. like a deep. Like cedar, piney, like yeah. yeah, something like that, you know, yeah. Like o- running, oaky type taste. Yeah, like know, running yeah. running through the woods with your mouth open. That's what it is. That's what it's like. <laughs> ain't no pause on that. I'm just <laughs> What? Ain't no pause I'm on that. I'm just seeing this little kid running through the woods with his <laughs> mouth open and right. mosquitoes jumping in and everything. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, dog. So you got our initial analysis, dog. You get the motherfucking pine it cone does. shit. It does great for the cigar, though. <laughs> I, I was trying to get through that. <laughs> I didn't want to stop. I didn't, didn't want to stop at all. Who but got it, the cutter, man? Give me the cutter. This pair is wonderful with a cigar. That I mean, really is. well with a cigar. <laughs> no, we're out of control, man. It's time to go to commercial break. I don't know what the fuck going what on here. What am I smoking here? I am smoking a Corojo number five. And of course, uh, like I said before, I got the fat bottom Betty. And I got the Oliva. <sighs> All right, man, we go, uh, we go go to commercial break <laughs> and regroup. All right, so you got our yeah. initial analysis. All this pausing we doing. All this pausing we doing. Hey, we're going to take a 30 second time out. Yeah, we're going to take a little time out, dog. Check out the commercial break. We'll be right back to give our review one to five Black Power Fist, dog. We're going to see what we give them to Glenn Fittish 14 year, dog. We'll be back right after this. You already know what it is, man. BBW's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. We'll be right back, man. See you on the other side. Visit the website right now, www.everybodylovesbbw. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. The Taste of Black Spirits presents the Cocktail Concierge Event. Get ready to indulge in a unique and exciting experience that celebrates the rich flavors of black spirits. It's going down Friday, September 29th from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. at the elegant 525 West Lafayette Terrace Room in Detroit, Michigan. Hey, we're back, man. You already know what it is. BBW, that's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast, Whole gang is here, dog. Got my man Angry Principal and Bo in the building. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. So we back with the scotch. All right, so we had our preliminary analysis. Um, surprisingly, I actually I actually like it. Um, I, going in, I didn't know if I was really gonna like it for real, but we about to give our review from one to five Black Power Fist. Last week, we started with Bo, so this week, Angry Principal, we'll start with you. Uh, what you wanna give it, dog? I'm gonna give this a solid three. Mm-hmm. Um, I know for a scotch that this is uh, quote unquote lower at the price point. Okay. At 70 bucks now. Mm-hmm. So, um, as far as comparing it to other scotches, I guess it's in the right price point. 
Okay. But I'm not trying to ding it on that. Yeah. Uh, the taste, uh, you get a little bit of char, you get some hug. It's 86 proof. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's decent. It's Asian bourbon barrels. All your little classic notes are there. So mm-hmm. I'm giving it a solid three. For sure. Okay. I can dig that. But what you say, bro? Um, I'm a scotch drinker. I like scotch. Mm-hmm. Uh, Glenn Fittish is, you know, definitely one, one of my go-to. So I'm, I'm going to give it a solid three and a half. Uh, For sure. Okay. I've got a, actually got a bottle at home, not not, not of the on the one and, and the new oak barrels, but okay, uh, another bottle of Glenfiddich fourteen, man, and yeah, yeah. You say you're my favorite bottle, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Now on, on that note, dog. Again, didn't really know what to expect. I didn't think I was going to like it, but actually, I I fuck with it. So I'm actually going to give it a three. And I tell you what, um, I'm smoking this Fat Bottom Betty, which is a you know a sweeter cigar. And I ain't gonna lie, this shit matching perfectly. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like this shit, this shit doing numbers over here. Like I could do this, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna put no ice in it. I don't wanna do shit. I just wanna sip it, hit the stogie and shit. You know what I'm saying? Watch uh, Colorado whoop on people ass this year. You know, shout out to Coach Brown. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I fuck with it though. I'm gonna give it a strong three, dog. So we got two threes right here, and then the three point five. Um, shit, I I fuck with it. Mm-hmm. I think this is one that I would actually suggest. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, my scat, my scotch, my scotch experience started out with Cuddy Sark, so I, I, I was turned off by scotch initially. And if you know what Cuddy Sark is, then you you, you would know why. It's bad like, ass blended freaking yeah, scotch. That's like the it's like the five o'clock of, of scotch. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah, right. Might as well be. Sound like some Mad Dog or something. <laughs> yeah, Mad Dog Twenty Twenty Dog for <laughs> sure. For like sure. Wild Irish Rose and shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> Hell yeah. Boom's hey, so, Farm. Mm-hmm. Boom's <laughs> Farm, dog. Wow. So surprisingly, I, I fuck with it, though, and I think this is something that we would uh, recommend. I think across the board, uh, Bo is probably uh, the one who likes scotch the most. Um, and I think this is one that uh, Angry Principal really has fallen in favor with. And I'm so mm-hmm. mad that he thought we was about to kill that bottle in this one show. Because I'm looking at how much left. Like, this right. nigga's crazy. It's, <laughs> it's okay, though. It's, it's going right. to die tonight, though. It's oh, going to die tonight, but it yeah. wasn't going to die during this show. So, shout out to Glenn Fittis. Night, though. 14 year, man. You know, so rest in peace to Glenn Fittis. You'll be out of here tonight. Uh, that's it. We're going to move away from the scotch. I'm going to finish smoking my stogie. Finish the rest of this scotch. We're going to move on, man. We're going to see y'all next week, though. Don't forget to check out all the replays and buy some merch at www.everybodylovesbbw.com. Check us out, dog. Hats, glasses, all kinds of shit, man. Holla at your boy. All right, till the next time, we up out of here, man. BBW, beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Got my man, Angry Principal, in the building. Drink what you like, how you like. Got my man, Bo, holding it down. I say. And of course, man, it's your boy, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205, man. Peace out, y'all.